Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Sweetie Kiwi Show. I hope you are doing fantastic. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or <laughs> vodka and let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about insurance policies you can safely cancel in hard times. Now, this is an extraordinary time for ourselves, too, at the Sweetie Kiwi Show. I am doing the show from my house. We're not in the studio. We don't have the team here. We've done the research, everything. But the show is happening from my house. And again, I really want to share with you fantastic policies, fantastic news about policies you can safely cancel in hard times. Now, the Sweetie Kiwi Show is the world's number one infotainment show. We cover everything from finance to science to health and celebrities. And uh, today's premise is very important. Proper insurance coverage is necessary to protect individuals and businesses, but in challenging times, some policies aren't mandatory. Depending on your situation, broad policies that generally provide coverage on a variety of potential events may not be a better choice than limited scope policies that focus on potential incidents or certain diseases. In this show, we're going to share with you which policies if you currently have them, that you can cancel without exposing yourself and or your business to unnecessary risk. Let's save you some money. Now, the first thing I want you to know here is that here are insurance policies you can cancel. Number one, extended warranties, right? If you are comfortable with the with an appliance you buy, you shouldn't be getting any, any warranty anyway. If the equipment or the machine or the appliance is new, and you believe in the quality of the brain, you don't need an extended warranty, right? So you wanna shed that out of your budget and save some money. Number two, unemployment insurance. Now, unemployment insurance is designed to actually pay you if you have, uh, you know, if you lose your job and, you're, and you can't pay the bills, right? But chances are, if you have a strong, if you have a well-funded rainy day account, rainy day cash account, you shouldn't you wouldn't need an unemployment insurance so again that one is gone number three flat insurance now flat insurance basically can be covered pretty easily through life insurance chances are the probability of having uh, an accident you know with an airplane is so low i mean of course when it happens everybody dies or you know people are always scared but the probability of dying in an in, in, a, in a, a plane accident is lower than the probability of dying in a car accident. So you don't need a flight insurance. It, you know, God forbid something happens to you. If you have life insurance, your beneficiaries should be fine. So this is another unnecessary policy you currently uh, can shed if you feel like doing it, right? Waterline coverage. This is something that some utilities ac across the country have, um, you know, they've, they've been pushing around on certain customers. And, and honestly, what they're doing here is that they are protecting, you know, the water and the sewer service line. They're protecting your property and, and they're making sure that you are getting enough water and uh, your, your, your sewage system is covered. Chances are, if you live in a good neighborhood, you certainly don't need that, right? You don't need that water, that water line coverage. Now, if you leave, quote unquote, in a bad neighborhood, I shouldn't be saying bad, but if you live in a neighborhood that is not as... Uh, as rosy as you would like it, chances are you don't have the money anyway to get that waterline coverage. So if they have it, if you currently have it, you might want to you might want to to shed it because if something happens, it won't happen only to your to your house. It will happen to the to the whole community or at least to the to that block. All right. So this is something that our research has shown you don't really need. Next accidental death insurance right something happens you died in an accident why do you really need that if you have life insurance if you have life insurance you really don't need accidental death death insurance in addition to that if you are able to maintain a lifestyle where you are exposing yourself less and less to the elements or you are you know you're basically taking care of your lifestyle just as are the probability of death should be limited of course nobody can predict death but what i'm trying to say here is that if you if you have a sort of a lifestyle that is less risky chances are you know your premiums 
and the probability of death happening for that matter will be actually lower all right so you wouldn't need that type of policy in the first place next private mortgage insurance now this is this is a uh, one insurance one policy that i personally don't believe in is necessary you get to pay pmi if you put down if you're buying a house and you put down less than 20 percent so if the required down payment is 20 percent and you put say 10 percent or 15 percent you will be paying pmi now the pmi cost according to mortgage calculator a pmi cost 30 bucks to 70 bucks monthly per 100,000 right so if you're uh, you know if your house is around um you know if your mortgage is around 300 grand you might be paying in the pmi per month somewhere between uh, 100 bucks 90 bucks to uh, 210 bucks all right so this is something that you want to think about if you it's better maybe to have the, to put all the money to to avoid that to put the 20 percent or the 21 percent or whatever the percentage is to avoid that over, over over a long period of time all right i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere welcome back folks to another edition of sweetie Cuba. we're still here talking about a very important topic this is insurance policies you can safely cancel in tough economic times and those you should keep i'll talk about those you should keep but for now i'm just talking about those you can safely cancel and before i, I go on please subscribe to our channel if you love the clarity and the content we are sharing with you so far please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so we can uh, you can be informed whenever we drop a new show like this content leave a comment and share the next type of uh, insurance coverage if you will that you can you can cancel but no problem is flood insurance now flood insurance is necessary if you live in a high risk area but if you don't live in such a in such an area you wouldn't need this right you don't need that kind of insurance so please if, if you currently have it for for some reason you can cancel it all right credit card insurance now credit card insurance this type of insurance covers you in case you're not able to make payments now i would suggest it's very uh, it's not a good strategy because if you constantly find yourself unable to pay your credit card balance it means that you are probably either living beyond your means or there's some kind of uh, disconnect between your expenses and your income in other words you're you, you you're just uh, borrowing and having a lifestyle that you shouldn't have so instead of getting the credit card insurance it's maybe better to reduce your your lifestyle to to you know to have a, a less costly lifestyle right as opposed to paying the premiums here next life insurance for children you don't need this especially you know a, this is the kind of uh, policy that i call it's just like bonus bonus policies especially in tough economic times when uh, when things are tough when uh, people you know when you might lose your job when the economy is in is in, is in a downturn you don't need that why your children i believe and god bless them will live up and become adults and you know live their own lives life insurance is designed to cover the unwelcome the unexpected for the breadwinner for an important individual in the family your children are important but right now they're not breadwinners so if something you should cover yourself and cover your wife or husband for that matter or partner right so the thing is you want to cover an adult who is the breadwinner so that money you can put it the, the life insurance premium you're paying for your you're paying for your children you can put it into something else you can you can you can uh, invest it in a college fund in a 401k or ira something you can even put the money in a trust with the child being the beneficiary right next credit card loss insurance now you don't need this I mean, you know, according to uh, to uh, um, to regulations, your loss is maxed out at fifty bucks. Something happens to your card, you are only liable for fifty dollars, right? So the thing here is that you don't need to have that 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 insurance. Imagine if you're paying 
10 bucks 10 bucks a month over five months you've already amortized the loss that you're trying to cover here so the rest of the time you're just giving the credit card company free money and you don't want to do that right i mean you know credit card companies are the last entities you want to give free money to so if you currently have credit card loss insurance you want to revisit your situation and if, if, if possible, cut that expense. Mortgage life insurance. This is another type of insurance you can safely eliminate. Now, this is basically uh, one, one of the things that this policy does is to cover you if you were to die. And, uh, you know, they will are basically trying to pay for your mortgages. But again, if you have life insurance or you have some kind of uh, other protection you should be fine if the unexpected were to happen to you god forbid something happens to you your life insurance will the proceeds of the of the life insurance policy will be enough to cover whatever is left on the um on the mortgage and help your beneficiary your surviving spouse or any survivors any um, you know children to be comfortable so you don't need to have a mortgage life insurance another type of insurance policy you can cancel in tough economic times is automobile collision insurance now this is the kind of insurance that pays the uh, another party if you are at fault right so let's say an accident happens you cause somebody's cars to to have a problem whatever this insurance allows basically you know the the um the this insurance allows your car rather not, not the other party that your car to be repaired yes so the collision insurance is usually mandated by um by lenders if you get a car loan for instance they want to make sure something happens they can get the insurance to be able to uh, repair the car and, and and have it new but let's say you have an old car you have an old car instead of uh, having automobile collision insurance maybe it's better to put that money into a rainy day account so if something happens you can decide at that moment whether you want to repair the car or buy another car right because everybody knows that cars are notorious for their quick depreciation as soon as you drive them out of the lot their values goes down right so automobile collision insurance again is meant to repair the cost to your car not the other party's car to your car in case of an incident but it's not really necessary all right another kind of insurance you want to think about it and possibly eliminate is disease insurance aka critical illness insurance some companies call it critical illness insurance you know this kind of covers conditions such as uh, Alzheimer's cancer diabetes honestly if you have proper medical insurance you don't need to have this supplemental insurance because this is what it is it is an additional extra supplemental insurance so again this is something you might want to think about eliminating all right think about that I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still continuing our conversation here about insurance policies you can safely cancel in tough economic times and those you should keep. I've talked to you about those that you, sh you, you can cancel, so you can safely cancel. And I'm going to talk to you now about those you should keep. But before I do that, please subscribe to our channel, share this content, leave a comment, and like it. We always are very happy when we hear from our audience, our love, our listeners and viewers through all the world now here are the insurance policies you should have these are policies that will help you mitigate the vicissitudes of life whether it is business life or personal life insurance is a risk mitigation tool it allows you to 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 protect yourself against loss should the unthinkable the unexpected happen all right so you want to have long-term disability insurance for the benefits if something happens to you you are disabled you cannot work 
or you are you know you are in you are not in the position to continue your normal activities long-term disability insurance will cover you will help you life insurance i was talking about that earlier you should have life insurance life insurance will protect you not you but it will cover your beneficiaries it will cover your your spouse your children should something happen now there are some life insurance products that allow you to have a cash portion we've covered that extensively in a series of shows so you might want to go to our website to our website and um, check the shows that we have uh, dedicated to life insurance to whole insurance to term life and so on and so forth to annuities you also need to have health insurance and this is without saying right we need to you need to have health insurance we live in a world where everything anything can happen at any moment so you need to be covered medically to make sure that you have a you know you you have no gap insurance and if you can afford it it's also important to have the you know dent, dental and vision and it's better to ha to have what people call bundling so you want to buy the same policy you want to buy several policies with the same provider with the same insurer right so you save some cash homeowners insurance is, is critical if you own a if you own a house and if you rent you want to have a tenants insurance renters insurance right again a home is a major investment it's a major asset acquisition so it's very important to protect it against the unforeseen you also want to have automobile insurance in um, the majority of states it is mandatory the uh, the uh, states will want you to have basic insurance that covers the 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 other party if you are responsible in an accident and again similar to uh, to a house a car is not as major an investment as a house but it's still an important investment right if you're getting you know if the average car costs 10 grand or 15 grand or 20 grand it's still a major investment so you want to cover you want to ensure that and again if something happens you know on, on the way on the road you're covered and the other party is covered so this is it folks i hope that i have add, added value to your to, to your life today i just want to quickly recap today's conversation here are insurance policies you can safely cancel in tough economic times. Extended warranties, unemployment insurance, flood insurance, waterline coverage, accidental death insurance, private mortgage insurance, flood insurance, credit card insurance, life insurance for children, credit card loss insurance, mortgage life insurance, automobile collision insurance, disease insurance aka critical illness insurance right so those are policies you can safely cancel and here are those that you should keep long-term disability insurance life insurance health insurance homeowners insurance and automobile insurance all right thank you so much for listening to me again please subscribe like share and uh, leave a comment to uh, a comment on this show we really want to hear from you what is what are the policies that you believe you can cancel have you already canceled some uh, policies you know whether you're going through tough economic times because of the overall economy or because of your personal situation let us know below all right and until next time i will see you stay marvelous